Welcome to Midwest Sports Net. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams. Joining me on the summit today is Makaira Tramble, who is the player of the week now in the Great American Conference. And Makaira, you know, you were named the GAC Freshman of the Year last season, but you haven't seemed to fall into any kind of sophomore slump at all. Not only the player of the week this week, but four times this season. Congratulations on yet another honor. Thank you. Talk about what's gone into this play, too. I mean, you've you've had a stellar week. Last week, you recorded your seventh double-double of the season, 21 points, 12 rebounds. You followed that up with an eighth double-double, and this one was a big one, 19.17 rebounds, but you did it in a win at Ada against East Central. I mean, I feel like with co- the COVID stuff that's been going on this year, I've been waiting to play and I've been practicing hard and, you know, doing what I do in practice so that I can bring that to the game. And I know that if I don't rebound and if I don't look to score, then I mean, I feel like I'm not contributing to the team enough, you know? So I I come out and play. I really don't look at the stats. I don't really worry about all that stuff, but I know that I need to score and I need to do my part on the team. And, you know, when, when you do that, those those numbers will add up, and they have definitely been adding up for you in that. I'd like you to talk about that a little bit, too. You know, you talk about uh, COVID, and obviously it's it's tough to get through any kind of interview in 2020 or 2021 now without bringing some of that up. What's it been like to play in this season already? Uh, it's different. I want to, it's really the fans thing is different because, you know, Swasu always has the best crowd. You know, that's honestly why I love playing here. And I mean, we're slowly making our way back. You know, we get a certain amount of fans. So that really helps, you know. I mean, COVID really has took a toll, but I feel like that really helped us in order, like, you know, all the practices we practice, what, 300 days, you know, that's a long time to be practicing. But I mean, it really helped us. And I feel like it really joined us together as a team and it shows on the court. We're talking with Makaira Tramble from Southwestern here on the summit. And I do want to encourage you all, please do consider subscribing to the channel to Midwest Sportsnet. We would appreciate that. Like and share the videos as well. The Southwestern Lady Dogs now up to number 15 in the country. And I mentioned uh, that win against East Central because Southwestern is 11 and 1 right now on the season. The lone loss coming at the hands of the East Central Tigers. Well, you came back, and and then on Saturday, not only did you beat them, it was a 30-point victory in Ada. Talk about that game. Well, our loss to them, we played terrible defense. We were not shooting the ball well, and I feel like that when our defense isn't good, our offense is not better. So that whole week and up to that game, we worked on defense and worked on our shell defense and worked on communicating and doing a lot better, and that showed, that showed against ECU, you know. And we started making shots, and then we finally just took the lead and ran off. (laughs) You know, it's the third time that you all have played East Central this season. And again, the the, the weirdness of 2021, you're going to get to play them a a little bit later on for a fourth time, and then possibly a fifth, maybe even in the postseason as well. What's it like to play the same team with with this kind of, you know, schedule again and again, knowing you're going to see them one more time at least? (sighs) Honestly... It's it's kind of tiring. I'm not not even trying to be rude, but like it's just playing the same opponent so many times. But you never know. Like one day they'll have one player who steps up, and the next day they could have five more players. You know, like you never know what you're going to get out of them. So we just have to bring our best game every every time we play them. And you know, I would imagine the same is true from you all that you you have a number of weapons in Southwestern under Coach Kelsey. Music uh, year in and year out has so many quality players like you and Bethany Franks and so many more that could step up at any point in time. What's it like then, from your perspective, knowing that it doesn't always have to be you? There are lots of other other girls that can step up. I actually love it. <laughs> I love that we have so many people that can score and so many people that can get the job done done as well. And I agree that when we do all score in double digits, then that's what that we're going to win, you know? <laughs> well, you're going to be, and, and by the way, that's that's typical of a Southwestern offense. You've got a lot of players scoring in double digits. Uh, the player of the week honor, not just the fourth one, but it's the fourth one in five weeks again because of the condensed schedule. So you're playing at a high level every single week. I know you've addressed that, knowing that you, you have to play at that level, but is there – you know, a, a, uh, an internal pressure that you feel going into those games that says, I have to keep playing at this level? No, I just step on the court. And honestly, when I step out there, everything tunes out and I just do what I have to do. You know, I like to score. I like to make good passes. I like to play with my team. And honestly, my team really does help me 
be the score I am because they're always like, Mac, you got to do this. You got to do that. Like they never let me take plays off. They know what to expect out of me and I know what to give them. Well, you passed the, the halfway point here in the season and you, I guess pushing toward the home stretch, not quite there just yet, but do you have a few more games to go before the postseason? You, you've, now have a year under your belt, and Southwestern, you know, made it to the, the postseason tournament last year. I know that the the team has higher aspirations uh, as you go along, and and uh, talk about your goals then as the season is starting to wrap up. Honestly, we don't we don't want to lose anymore. We want to host. You know, we want to make it to the tournament again, which I see I can see us doing as long as we keep playing to our full potential and keep playing how we're playing. You know. I mean, Nash, I really just want to make, we really want to make the tournament. That's really, that's really it. Win the tournament. I mean, if that's a plus. You know. <laughs> yeah. Well, of course, last year, earning the spot in the national tournament, uh, getting to play a game or two, I'm sure would be nice as well uh, going into this year's sophomore season. Makaira Tramble, congratulations. The GAC Player of the Week for the fourth time in five weeks. And uh, success to you as you continue on along. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for joining us here on the summit today. I appreciate everyone for watching. Again, please do consider subscribing to the channel, Midwest Sports Net. I'm Joey McWilliams. God bless you. Have a great day.